This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. to the rap pedal i think partly because i've always assumed it was like a grunge machine um and something that j just belonged maybe i knew that graham coxon i think uses one that might be true it might be wrong but sort of grungy punky uh, brit poppy stuff not necessarily the kind of guitar tones that i feel like i'm after this is a rat 2 um from well, I don't know exactly when this one's from. I bought this off of my buddy Gary. Um, maybe it's got a year on here. It hasn't. Anyway, but, you know, they're relatively common things, aren't they, of course? Uh, rats. Um, that's why we use rat poison and rat traps. Anyway, so these came out in 1978 initially. Um, hard to power. How am I going to power that? Nine volts probably got a lead for it hopefully but yeah it's got one of those annoying little um sort of headphone what's it 3.5 mil inputs there that is irritating anyway so these came out in 1978 which is the same year as the boss ds1 um and yeah i wanted to sort of experiment with this because there's a thing for me i really like things like tube screamers um timmy's things like that but I use a clean amp generally, like clean, clean, so not edge of breakup. So when I'm using a clean amp, sometimes a tube screamer doesn't give you enough uh, kind of gain um, or enough kind of breakup to do the sorts of things that I need to do on a function gig, which include things like, I don't know, teenage dirtbag or um, things which require like fairly chunky, gainy rhythm tones, sort of if you imagine like uh, what you might use a Marshall Governor for, or Sir Raya, or that type of circuit, which is another thing that's been a bit of a later discovery for me. I'm going to try the rat out in this context and see if that does the job, if I can find a lead that is. Now, my thoughts on this are that really the rat is a super versatile pedal that could be used for basically any genre. If you look at folks that have used these, Dave Gilmore, um, John Schofield, I think, has been a long term rat user. Um, as well as, you know, Proco themselves, say people like Metallica and REM. But it basically can do a full range of stuff. But not only that, it can sound good in front of a clean amp and ha lots of tweakability. Here's the thing. So this filter here is really the key to, to what makes this pedal go. So let's just start off, I guess, with everything at 10. Um, so here's my clean. <laughs> Then the rat. Just 
the peak. So if we take the distortion down a bit and turn the volume up, you do actually get a quite a nice. On an old Gallagher's board as well, I think that kind of makes sense. The places where I expect to see it, people like Noel Gallagher, Graham Cox, and that sort of thing, but it's actually super, super. Okay, so this filter thing, the lower we turn it down, actually the more cutting we get. And the further we go up, see it's like a high pass type thing, right? Wait, low pass. Where? This is actually a thing that a pedal that came out the same year, the Boss DS1, doesn't really get so right in that you have to have the tone knob on that turn way far down to really get it to, to work with a lot of sort of thing. Whereas this filter set in the middle, it's beautiful. As you turn up the distortion then, if you had this down, you get... finding things too fizzy. As you hear, that's such a big full distortion sound, unlike almost any drive pedals that I can think of. with a strat and it's just doing low to sustain. <laughs> Don't forget as well, this is fully clean. <laughs> As you get that distortion up a bit higher, you do really get into some kind of fuzz territories. But I 
just love it. It's got this kind of fluffy texture to it, um, not thin at all. <laughs> Totally usable. I think one's going to be going on my board. Um, the T-Rex Mud Honey, I believe, is wrap based. I also think the TC Electronic Dark Matter might be. And I think I took one of those to Israel. I've had a Mud Honey as well. It's a little bit big um, for some uses, but that's got a boost switch on it, which is quite handy. But yeah, the, the Mud Honey is this kind of thing. And I used to have one of those and really liked it as well. But I, I feel like this could definitely be going on my board because it's such a big thick. <laughs> for going into a clean amp and getting a big kind of rock tone, big lead tone, that kind of sustaining sounds like an amp kind of thing. It's great. I love it. Cheers for stopping by.